In this lecture, we will cover the five whys. Here again, we will address three questions. First, what is the five whys? Second, why are the five whys important? And third, when should the five whys be used? Let's start with the lecture. So, what are the five whys? The five why technique is an iterative probing technique to get to the root cause of an effect for a problem. The answer to the first why uncovers another reason and generates another why. It often takes five whys to arrive at the root cause of the problem. The five whys are used in conjunction with the fishbone diagram to uncover the root causes of performance issues. Let's see an example to understand this. This is an example of a 5Y analysis. There were two buildings that were constructed at the same time. The construction material used was of the same quality. It was procured from the same vendor. The buildings were constructed by the same company, and even though everything was the same, one of the buildings had to be painted every two or three years. It looked dull compared to the other buildings. No one knew the root cause for this. Soon, it became a concern for the homeowners for that building, so they began to discuss the issue. The building administrator called for a meeting and included homeowners who stayed in that building, the staff who helped to maintain that building, and the administrator himself, who is well versed in using the 5 Y analysis tool. Now the administrator is the person who will ask questions. So this is the first question by the administrator. Why does our building have to be recolored every two to three years? And suppose the answer is because the building starts looking dull within that period. Then, taking the second answer into account, the administrator will frame the second question. The administrator may ask, why does our building start looking dull within a span of two to three years? Suppose the answer is, because we see feces of birds, especially pigeons, on our building. Now, using this answer, the administrator frames the third question. Why does our building have more feces of birds than the other building? To this, someone may answer, because they flock together in our building compared to the other building. The administrator's fourth question will be, why do these birds flock to our building and not flock so much on the other building? The answer could be, because these birds feed on the insects that appear on our building. Now the administrator will ask the fifth why question. Why are there more insects appearing on our building than the other building? The answer, because we switch on the building lights at 6 p.m., which is earlier than the other building. This is how the administrator asks the five whys to conclude. So the analysis is, the lights for the other building are switched on when it starts to get darker. Because we switch on the lights at an earlier time, the insects get attracted to the lights of our building. This, in return, attracts the birds. When birds flock to eat insects, there are feces on our building. That finally leads to the dull appearance of the building compared to the other building. As a resulting action, the building administrator stopped switching on the lights at 5 p.m. each day. They only switched on the light as it started becoming darker in the evening. After all, they acted on the root cause. Because of this, they do not have the problem anymore. This identification of the root cause was done effectively only because of the 5 why analysis. The next question is, why are the 5 whys important? The answer, it is a simple yet powerful technique that helps the team to collectively reach root causes. It also determines the relationship between the different root causes of a problem and is one of the simplest tools to use, being easy to complete with no statistical analysis required. When should the five whys be used? You use the five why analysis when you want to get to the root cause of an effect or a problem. We do so by determining the relationship of possible causes to the effect we are experiencing. In this lecture, we covered what are the five whys, 
An example of the five why analysis. Why are the five whys important? And when should the five whys be used?